AOS PA has released its new update to its long forgotten room, Paranoid Android. It's been 9 months since AOS PA has released any new builds. So let's find out one of the most anticipated room of the year is worth it or not. The ROM looks exactly like pure Android at first boot, so nothing has changed in terms of visual design and Android experience. This ROM is not rooted, so if you want to root this ROM, you will have to flash Magisk or Super SU. Now this is very unique ROM in terms of customization and features. You won't get the usual customization that you get in other ROMs like status bar or notification settings, but you will get some outstanding features. You get 3 accent colors in the display settings, pixel, dark and gray. And I bet you won't have seen this kind of battery icon in any room. And if you use your phone at night most of the time then there is night mode and sRGB options available in the display settings. Along with that ambient display is available and of course you can change the size of display and text. In terms of design, the recent menu looks very clean because all the recent apps are designed in square shape. And if you just long press menu key, you go directly to split screen and this will definitely save your time. And for OnePlus 3 and 3T users, I know it's very frustrating when you can't change the order of alert slider. Well, you can change the order in this room. And up next, we have immersive mode. When you are playing game or reading something, it will hide your status bar and navigation bar. The stock camera of Oxygen OS is fantastic and that's one of the reasons people don't flash any other room. This room is using custom camera app and it has lots of extra options in terms of manual control. I have been using this room for one week and I can say that this camera app is better than Lineage OS's Snapdragon camera. Have a look at some photos and a video sample I took with this camera. This room comes with inbuilt OTA so you can easily update the room. The RAM management is outstanding. No F4 close, no random reboot. The room is super smooth and there is no scrolling glitches also. This room seems to be a fusion of Lineage OS and Oxygen OS. Battery life seems to be decent. I got 4.5 hours of screen on time. And if you want more battery life, you can install an app called Greenify. And for OnePlus 3 users, the dash charging is working perfectly and there is no issue in Wi-Fi signals. And if you're the kind of guy who loves to theme their phone, well, Substratum is supported by this ROM so you don't need to worry about themes. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I just love this ROM, but there are few things that they can improve. For example, there is a Pi mode in the ROM which just doesn't work for OnePlus 3. This room is very different and unique, so I will definitely keep an eye on this room for future updates. Well, for this build, I am going to give this room 4 out of 5. You can install this room on many smartphones like Pixel, Pixel XL, Nixus 5X, OnePlus 3T, 6P, OnePlus One and OnePlus X. I will provide all the links in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to like this video if you appreciate my efforts. This is Nash and I will see you next time.